under the patronage of the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the concluding ceremony of Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Young Novelist's Award in 24 hours, which was launched in March, was held in his presence in our capital building in Bahrain Bay. The award was organized by Al Wata newspaper in partnership with His Highness's media office. 42 novelists from Bahrain and Gulf countries participated in the competition, which is part of Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad initiatives that are aimed at supporting the youth in the field of culture. Upon arrival, His Highness was received by the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham bin Mohammed al Jodar, the Ambassador of Saudi Arabia to Bahrain, Abdullah Abdul Malik al Al Sheikh, and the editor in chief of Al Wata newspaper, Yusuf al bin Khalil. On this occasion, His Highness affirmed that the kingdom was one of the first countries that had a keen interest in the field of culture. He recalled the initiatives adopted to support the youth and enrich the national culture. He noted that the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to promote the cultural movement and embrace intellectuals, culture and literature. His Highness also highlighted the efforts of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in providing an adequate environment for young authors and writers. Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in the youth participating in the award and congratulated them, wishing them further success in their endeavors. Bahraini novelist Jumana al Ghassab won the first place, followed by Saudi novelist Nijud al Khalagi in second place and Bahraini novelist Abdullah Fuad in third place.
a 24-hour novel writing competition in Arabic, which must be no less than 64 pages long, using size 18 times New Roman font, can be a seemingly impossible challenge for competing young novelists, but this competition affirms their capabilities to accomplish the best innovation and creativity. I love writing. I loved it since I was four years old I was trying to write and to me art gave me a lot of things whether it's creative writing or theater or music or fine art so I don't know I just hope that I keep doing this I don't I can't consider the winning as the ultimate proof that I'm good enough so I'll keep working till I become good I feel confused I'm, I'm surprised because I didn't expect that because it's my first time and I didn't expect to win because uh, I'm, I'm not sure about my writing, but it appears that I'm a good writer anyway. <laughs> That's why I'm in second place, right? I was very happy. I didn't accept that I will win in the third place. And I'm thinking that I want to go to the, to the world champion the next time. Culture is deep-rooted in Bahrain, and this competition is a great challenge of composition talent and skill. Such cultural initiatives boost youth contribution in the art of literary creativity that reflects the community advancement, develops youth talents, and encourages them to discover and launch their hidden skills and energies. We believe that uh, investment in the youth is the road to the success for future. And uh, culture and uh, writing uh, novels uh, is one of the prime uh, programs in which we believe in. It's a program that uh, utilizes the imagination of the youth in uh, translating that imagination into words, into work of arts, into converting these novels into plays, into films, into uh, books. This award was launched locally five years ago under His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa's patronage and this is its second edition in the Arabian Gulf region to illuminate the whole region with rich culture, the force that keeps peoples and communities move inexorably towards progress and help build a brighter future. Reporting for Bahrain International, Amheba Abdul Ghaffour. In line with the direct follow-up on the implementation of the midday work ban, the Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Humaydan, inspected a number of work sites. The minister also reviewed the measures taken to implement the ban and to ensure providing a safe work environment and suitable health care for workers, as well as the means to protect them from work injuries. The minister expressed satisfaction with the commitment level in the sites he had inspected, affirming the kingdom's keenness on the workers' safety in work sites. He stressed that the violations of the legislation will not be tolerated, hailing employers' commitment to the ban, which reflects their belief in the importance of safety measures and the preservation of workers' lives. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority BTEA, announced the key achievements of its representative offices launched back in 2017 in a meeting held with key stakeholders in the industry. The CEO of BTEA, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamoud Al Khalifa, affirmed that the number of tourists coming to the kingdom during the first half of this year increased by 6%, with an increase in the length of the stay, which reached about three nights. He pointed out that the representative offices in Saudi Arabia Arabia, India, China and Russia, along with Germany, the UK and France, recorded a significant increase in the number of travel agencies promoting the kingdom, tourism packages and market shares. The meeting also discussed the mechanisms of cooperation with Vatel Hotel, which will be inaugurated in October, which aims to train the national workforce in the hospitality sector and provide them with a wide array of exciting career opportunities.